Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you my latest project for A Trace of Sparkle on Etsy. So I will put a link below to Jennifer's Etsy store and to her YouTube channel so you can go and check it out. And I've had such a good time playing with her digitals this year. Jennifer, thank you for giving me the opportunity. I really have enjoyed it. And um, so what I created was this passport book and I followed a tutorial by Pink Strawberries, and I will put a link to the tutorial um, I used below. It was really easy to follow, and it's really cute, and it was really fun to put together. So I used actually many different uh, kits from A Trace of Sparkle because my printer um, decided to act up and I didn't, <laughs> I don't have a lot of time because, you know, I work full time and I have to, use the time I'm given, but this is what my printer was doing and it refused to fix. So I decided I would use all the leftover bits from the kits that I have used through the year. And I happen to have a lot of lovely bits left that I could put together this really cute little passport book. So I used uh, bits of the love petals. I used bits of sugared linen and I used bits of the lace master board and I I think that's it I mean there there may be some August Rose on here maybe I used August Rose to not love petals <laughs> I don't know but they're all pretty and they all go so well together so they're just beautiful so make sure you follow the link below and check it out so uh, I first created the out the outside of it and then I made this little pocket and I put this little, um, I sewed this on a piece of music paper, just some tool and some of this pretty lace. And I put that right there just to make this um, really pretty, but the paper is pretty all by itself. And then I put this lace here and you could actually tuck something in here if you wanted to. And then for the cover, I also made a shaker card because I'm obsessed with making shaker cards. I know I make them all the time, but look at how cute they are. That is why. And I put this big, beautiful bow. And so the paper in the background is from Jennifer's, one of Jennifer's digital kits. And the paper on the back is also not pretty. They are just so pretty. So I love how this sticks out with the bow just on the front. I think it's so cute. And so on the inside, more of her beautiful paper. Just love it. Just ignore the bad printing. The paper is beautiful. My printer <laughs> is not. <laughs> Just wasn't cooperating. And I did sew this together. Um, the tutorial she uses glue, but you know, I like to sew all the bits. So this is one of the journaling cards, I believe, from Sugared Linen. So that is in there. And I just rounded the edges. And then this cute little envelope, I think is also sugared linen. I don't know. But I did print out two, uh, the two envelopes from that kit. But I put them together two different ways. So this one is kind of like a seed packet, which is cute. And then I put one of these uh, adorable little tags that I cut down to size to fit in here. So cute, and that just tucks right in there. I mean, how sweet would this be just tucked into a journal? It's so cute, or even as a gift for someone. I think it's just so sweet. So here I made another little um, envelope, and on the inside of the envelope is this adorable tag from Jennifer's kit. So cute. It's just so cute, and so that fits right in there. And then this back uh, piece is from her kit. And I made a little lace pocket and on the inside is just this little, little tiny notepad. And then I put a piece of her paper um, on the top with a bow and some lace. I really tried to use all my bits up, trying not to waste the bits because they're cute. The bits are cute. And then I just popped on a piece of a doily right there because it's just adorable. And so this is from the Lace Masterboard printables. So pretty, look at that. Just so many yummy layers. And then this is a pocket right here and I put another big bow. 
and then one of her beautiful um, cards from her kit and I just added some lace at the bottom and rounded the edges and stuck on this big beautiful bow and it just goes right there. I love these big bows. They're so cute. So over here I've got a pocket and a belly band. I made a little belly band out of this beautiful piece from her kit that I feel like is August Rose <laughs> and just a little uh, lace and this pretty little rhinestone cameo right there. This is an, the other envelope from her kit and I put it together this way instead of like a seed packet and I just put just a few little snippets from um, that I had left from the paper pad I thought would be fun to journal on so those are in there and I kind of have this um, in the pocket so that uh, the top of the envelope is wrapping around so you'll see it on that side I just kind of like that and then here I popped in another little notepad um, using some more of her digitals for the top and just some scrap paper and I sewed everything together and I left all the strings on because I love the strings so <laughs> I know some people don't like that but I mean they're easy to trim off if you want to trim them off but I just love them so here on the back you have this little um, flap which is cute and another little pocket this one's made from the lace master board and I believe this I think it's August Rose I don't know but they're all beautiful and then there is this pretty little tag and I do have one more tag to put in here but it's not dry yet because I stickled it but I still wanted to show it to you anyway isn't that cute that is from her kit so as soon as the stickles dry that is going in here too so I love how this turned out and I love the digitals they're also pretty Jennifer so you can just follow the link over to her Etsy and see all the beautiful digital kits she has available and they are very reasonably priced I think you'll be surprised when you see um, how much they are so it's a really good bargain so I hope you're doing okay everybody please leave me a comment let me know what you think don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to go over and check out Jennifer's store I'll see you guys on the next one bye everybody